Roseanne, you can go ahead. Then. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for bringing us all here today. Help us to understand and help us to understand and learn from each other. Thank you for our families and our food and the homes that we have. Help us to learn your word and become more like you. Thank you. We pray for all of the souls today, for All Souls Day. And we thank you for all of, all of those that you have given to us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Amen. Children, Amen. we are doing a testimonies. So we are going to share our testimonies, what the Lord God has done in our lives to glorify him. So one by one, you all can start sharing your testimonies. Praise God. Anyone got any testimonies to give glory to God? I've got one. Go ahead, Yogi. On Tuesday, we had a math test, and I was, um, we had a math test, and when I got to class, and I was gonna, and I, when we were about to be given our test, I had realized that I had forgotten my pencil case, so I didn't have anything to write with for the test. But before I uh, started worrying, I asked I, I, I asked one of my friends, but they didn't have a pencil, and so then the teacher had a pencil and a ruler that I could I could borrow. Praise God! Thank you, Jesus. So any of the scripture you used for that? You confessed any scripture? Or you made any prayer for that? No. Okay. So God supply all your needs according to his riches in glory, right? Praise God. Yes. Praise God. See, sometimes what happens now, um, we, we do confess a lot of the scriptures, you know, before when we verbalize the scriptures, when we verbalize, you know, the word of God and it is there in our heart and we we come across any situation. Now you had a, a situation where you didn't have your pencil case and uh, you had already confessed it. You have already, you know, spoken out of your mouth saying that my God will supply all your needs. Maybe earlier. So that moment you must have not done it, but it was already there. You have already, you know, spoken the words. You have already released that power before. So this is what happens. Sometimes we, when the situation comes, we, 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 it's not that we forget, but, you know, we, we tend to miss that. But it is already there. It is already in our account that we have already spoken that. We have already, um, uh, uh, spoken those words, spoken the word of God over our life. So those words are already there. Those that power is already there. So when we need it, it it is already you know we are we are having it. The angels go and bring that pass into our life. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So every day we have to verbalize the word of God, even though we don't have that situation. We, we need to say, I'm anointed, I'm blessed, I am fruitful. You know, all this, it, it, it does because it, you are, you are, how you fill up the tank, uh, a petrol tank, uh, okay, the car, the fuel, how you fuel, you know, the, fill the uh, car tank. It's the same way because we do not wait till the end moment, right, to, um, to fill the petrol, right, or to fill the diesel or, or to fill the air in the car. We, we before it could get over, we try to refill it and keep it for ourselves, right? The same thing happens in our life. We need to refill, we need to fill ourselves with the word of God. And when the time comes, you know, the angels go forth and bring it to pass for our life. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Anyone else? Praise God. 
ये सिस्टम हो रहा से no no please god be thanked just listening to what you are saying sister thank you chinti anyone else has a testimony yes joseph joseph yes children debra Joel, Rian, you can share your testimonies, even a small one, to glorify our God. Okay, uh, I just uh, got reminded uh, with something. Um, you know what? As I was sharing about it. You know, when I didn't have the understanding of the word, okay, I I knew the prayers, I knew you know what who God was like, but I didn't have the understanding how to use that word of God. So when I was like, you know, uh, it was earlier, not like, uh, not now. Uh, my like, you know, my 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 niece, uh, uh, like you know, my family, like you know, the whoever was there, like you know, smaller than me, younger to me, I always used to tell them. You know, to be good, to be good in a, to be good, not to uh, do any mischief, not to like, you know, um, uh, like, you know, retaliate, like, you know, so many things I used to tell them. And what I used to tell them is, I used to give them a homework. I used to tell them, you know, in your diary, me make two columns. One is good and one is bad. Okay, whatever you do in a in a day, like good things. Okay, you help someone. You said thank you to someone. You, um, you know, you discipline yourself. Your behavior was good. Write those things. And in a bad, you know, in a bad column, write the bad. You know, whatever bad you have done, like you have, uh, uh, you know, spoken the wrong, uh, bad things, or uh, like you know some mischief, or like you know, so, uh, like in you know, a bad things, and. You know, I this homework I used to give, and then I used to tell them, see the good things what you do. You know, you're filling your account, like you're filling your account, and you're keeping it ready, and 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 God is going to uh, reward you with that. Because that time I didn't have the understanding that God has already blessed us. But this is was my homework to all those children. You know, whoever was younger to me, I used to tell them. I used to make them, you know, to write good things and bad things, and I used to remind them, see, bad things now, you know, see when you like, you no, know, end of the day or after a week, go through those bad things and see what bad things you have done. You you could have like, you know, improved yourself or like, you know, you can do the good things later instead of doing those bad things. You can do next time. You can learn from them. So this was my homework when I, you know, for them. But now I know that God has already blessed them. But this homework, you know, uh, like you know, for them, it really helped them to to focus on good things, you know, and and to learn from those bad things. Praise God! Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. That's a good. That's a good way of uh, trying to not not that um, God is going to, you know, he he will judge us, but He's already forgiven us, and he's already yes. he's given us all the spiritual gifts. But it's a good way for us to keep a track of our own, yes. you know, our own selves. Like you know, not for anyone to know or anything. But it's a good way that we can keep a track um, yes. of what yes. we are doing. Yes, yes. God. And we can correct ourselves. Yes, the Holy Spirit will help us correct ourselves. But we can also, like in writing, we can see it. For ourselves, the children. Maybe it's a good thing we can do this, right? It's a good exercise for us, not for anyone else to see, but just for ourselves. We keep a track of it, yes. and we can try to change the things that we are doing wrong. Ask the Holy Spirit, give me the grace to change those things that we are doing wrong, and help us to be good, better children for you. Yes, yes, because now we know that we have Holy Spirit, our helper, who can help us. You know, mm. we we understand that, and Holy Spirit is whenever we call out to Him, He is there, you know, present, ever present in with us, in us, you know, helping us.
to do the correction in our life. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Anyone else has a testimony? Joel, Joseph, Rian, Deborah, anyone got a testimony? No. Please go. So if no one's got a testimony, um, Shall we just do a small sharing, Sister Reshma? Won't go yes. too much. Yes, 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 Sister. Go ahead, Sister. So, uh, children, we all know um, what we are reminding ourselves of yesterday and today, right? There are two feet, like two things we are celebrating or remembering. Yes, yes. Yeah? What was yesterday? Uh, all Saints Day. All Saints Day and today? Souls. Also, yes, yes, praise God, praise God. And the souls are also saints, correct? Yes. Yes, yes, praise God. Now, let us think, what is a saint? Anyone knows what is a saint? Or rather, who is a saint? Someone who's done a lot of good things. Someone who's done a lot of good things, okay. Anyone else? What What do we know? What is our understanding of a saint? The followers of God. Yes, the followers or disciples of God, yes, of Jesus. Very good. Anyone else? Anyone? Joel, what do you think a saint is? Or Deborah or Rian, what do you think? Um, a, a saint is like a follower or somebody who, um, like believed in God. Okay. Yes. Joanne, a good person that believed in God. Okay. Rian, a person that did a lot of good things for God and pleases Him. Okay, so we are all our answers are in the past, right? Who did good things? Yes, yeah? so that's what we think a saint is we, a person who did lots of good things. And so, where are the okay. saints? Now? Where are they? In heaven, in heaven, with God. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just want to get an understanding of what you think. So, this is this is um, like you know, I ask myself. Lord, you know, the, the church only canonized, you know, few people. There are about maybe, I don't know, thousands of saints that they've canonized. But what about the people who didn't get recognized, who did not, like, you know, they were good people. They were following Jesus. But because nobody noticed them, they could have been in some villages, some small towns. And, so they didn't get noticed. So what about those people? I was asking this question to God. And I was like, you know, what happened to these people? Are they not saints? And the answer is, yes, they are also saints. People who have done good things, but they didn't get recognized by the church, maybe because they lived in a village or they might have lived in small towns and all that. This is what I was understanding with what God is teaching me that, you know, um, of course, there are saints that we do not know about. But the good news for you and me and for everyone today is a saint, this is this is what the definition um, of a saint is. Okay, okay, I just scribbled it down. The word saint, it comes from the Greek word called he, hegios. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it properly, but it's H-A-G-I-O-S. And that means consecrated to God holy, sacred, or pious. Okay, that's what that word saint means. 
and sanctified, which means is washed clean. Okay. So when you think of that word saint, we always think of someone who has already died and gone to heaven. But you know, in the New Testament, the word saint is mentioned at least 60 times. 60 times. And there are quite a few um, scriptures that I found that has the word saint. And it is not referring to the people who have already died. In fact, the good news for you and me today is we are called saints. The people who are living we are the saints of the church. We are the saints that God has called us saints and called us to be holy. We learned, right, that Jesus' precious blood has washed us clean, which means sanctified us. So if we are sanctified, we are made holy by the precious blood of Jesus. So we are also the living saints on this earth today. We are the hands and feet of Jesus today. That is a good news, right? Saint Roseanne, Saint Joseph, Saint Joel, Saint Rian, Saint Deborah, Saint uh, Reshma, Saint Moira. All of us here are saints. We are called saints. And if you look in the Acts of the Apostles, Paul refers to the people, the Christian people, the Christian people who were living, he was referring to them as saints. We look at a few scriptures, okay? We won't go into everyone because there's like 60 odd scriptures that uh, show us that the people who were Christians, who were followers of Jesus, were called saints. Anyone who believed in Jesus and accepted him as the true Lord, God, and Savior, the Holy Spirit came to dwell in us. Remember, we learned this? The Holy, when we accept Jesus as our Lord, God, and Savior, the Holy Spirit comes and dwells inside of us. We become the children of God. We have learned this before, right? Yes? Yes. There's only a few of us here, so unmute and answer, okay? So, um, yeah, so the, the Christian who believes in Jesus and who's following him, like we all said, the one who followed what Jesus wanted us to do, they are the disciples of Jesus and the disciples are called saints. Now, we know uh, many people gave their lives for, for Christ. They were martyred, like beat all the apostles. They were all, you know, beaten up and they were tortured and they were killed because of Christianity, because they were followers of Christ. And so they've done a very honorable thing. They, they've given their lives to, for Jesus. They've given their lives up for Christianity. So we praise God for those people and we can also learn from those people who have gone be, you know, before us. They have died and they've gone to heaven. And But we are learning from them also. But we, we can learn from them. But the, whole, the main role model that they also followed was Jesus Christ. Correct? Everyone agree? Yes. 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 Because Jesus came to show us how to live. So that, and to show us the love of the Father. So we are taking, our, our role model is actually Jesus. And all the saints who lived before us, their role model was also Jesus. And because they believed in Jesus, because they knew that he was the true Lord God and Savior of their lives, because they loved him and they understood his love for them, they wanted to give their lives. They wanted to live for him. And like that, we also today want to give our lives for Jesus and we want to know more and more about him, to be more and more like him. And the, Jesus gave us the gift of the Holy Spirit to help us to be more and more like Jesus each and every day. Correct? We have learned this, right? When we did our Holy Spirit learning. Yes. Yes. Praise God. So let's see. In um, Daniel 7.22, Sister Reshma, will you share? I can. Okay. Okay, okay Deborah. She has to be made the co-host. Yeah, yeah. Mm 
Yes, Deborah, you can share. Daniel 7, 22. Until the Ancient of Days came and pronounced judgment in favor of the holy people of the Most High, and the time came when they possessed the kingdom. So you see where the, it says holy people, in some translations it says in favor of the saints of the Most High. Okay, so until the Ancient of Days came and judgment was given um, to the saints of the Most High, and the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. Okay, that in some translations, um, it says saints. So holy, the saints, we know where holy people, right? We always, uh, um, we connect those two. The word holy, that means purified, sanctified, you know, redeemed. They are, became saints, correct? We, we consider them saints. So, you know, there is a scripture which says, um, I'm not sure, Sister Reshma, you might know this scripture, that by God's grace, we are made holy and blameless, pure and holy and blameless, so that we can live the way yeah. God wants us to live, okay. right? Yes, yes, there's a scripture, Sister, that uh, it says that, can you repeat it, Sister? That um, we are made holy and blameless. That we can um, live yeah. a life leading to God. It's Hebrews 10 10 system. Mm. Yeah. We have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Mm. 10 10. Yeah. Look at that. That is, this is the. Um, and by that will, we have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. That means the moment we believe and accept Jesus as the Lord God and Savior, we are born again, right? And from that moment on, we have been made holy through the blood and the body and blood of Jesus Christ. And that is forever, okay? Our spirits have been made a uh, been made a new creation, brand new people, holy. Yes? Yes. We are to this once and for all. So thank you, Jesus, because of your body and blood. You've made us holy, you've sanctified us, you've purified us, and you have made us saints, not because of what we did, but because of what Jesus did for us on the cross. We are made saints. Because Jesus took away all our sinful nature, nailed it to the cross, and he gave us his righteous nature. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So the living Christians are called saints in the New Testament. Okay? Yes, Sister Moira. says, to all in Rome who are loved by God. Now, we know Romans is written by Paul, okay? So many places Paul refers to the, uh, the, the, to the Christians who are living at the time, and he calls them saints. Now, wherever it says holy in this uh, version, in New International Version, the holy people is where the word holy is called saint, saints, okay? To, in, to all in Rome who are loved by God and called to be his saints. Okay, grace and peace to you from our God, our Father, and from our Lord Jesus Christ. 
So in some translations, the word holy is actually uh, called saint. And Ephesians 3.12, Deborah, please. How do you spell that? C C T E T S I A N. There you go. Ephesians. What is it? What did you say? Ephesians. Yeah, uh, right. Twelve. Three twelve. So it says, uh, because, okay, in him and through faith in him, we may approach God with freedom and confidence. So there's another one, um, another translation, NLT version says, because of Christ and our faith in him, okay, and his faithfulness, we can now come boldly and confidently into God's presence. So if we were not, if we were unholy, can we come into God's presence? If we were not holy, can we come into God's presence? No. No. So God has purified us. He has cleansed us. He sanctified us. He redeemed us. He delivered us. And he's made us holy so that we can come boldly through the throne of God. Okay? He has made that way for us to come boldly. Before that, uh, you know, in the Old Testament, uh, we've done this before as well, where every year they had to sacrifice the lamb. Remember? The blood of the lamb. They had to bring a, a like a newborn lamb without any blemish and they give it, offer it every year. And the, the high priest will put the sins of the person onto the lamb and, and or the goat and they will send that off into the wilderness. So it's like taking away the sin of that person. And sometimes the lamb was slain. Okay, they kill, they had to kill the lamb and that blood was the offering for the sins of the world. But Jesus became that lamb for us. He washed us with his blood. So once and for all, we were cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Okay. And you know, there is there are um, verses in the Bible. So the living word of God shows us if we want to know how to live this saintly life, right? Anyone knows? How we, shall we live this saintly life? How can we be, you know, living according to the laws of God, to according to what God wants us to be? He is uh, having a plan for us, but how can we live according to that plan for us? How will we know the will of God for us in our life? Anyone? Anyone knows? How can you according to the word of God? By following the Ten Commandments. Okay. Following the Ten Commandments, yes. Going to Mass and praying uh, to Normally, like daily, praying mm -hmm. daily. Mm -hmm. Okay. The way we can know about, the way we know how to follow the ways of God is by following his word. Everything that we need is given in the word of God. So we need to pick up our Bible. We need to pick up that living word of God every day. And learn it, study it. And the more and more we study it, it's a living and active word. It will transform our lives to be more saintly, to live a saintly life. And a saintly life is nothing but love. Living a life of love. Love for God. 
okay when we love god we will not hurt anybody right we when we love god we will love our neighbor also so loving god and loving our neighbor the two most important com commandments that jesus gave us to love god and to love our neighbor the greatest commandment so we be united with the people around us we'll show love caring gentleness kindness patience we use all the fruits of the holy spirit because we love god and god loves us and when we understand this love for us we will want to please jesus and because of that we will live saintly life and the people like you know who we know canonize their sin they wanted to please god they wanted to live right by him so because the, their love for god was so strong they they lived um helping others around them sacrificing themselves they were a living sacrifice like you know we learned about mother teresa she became a living sacrifice she followed uh what jesus asked her to follow she saw jesus in the poorest of the poor yes so we too can can we too are called to live saintly lives okay so let's go uh 1 corinthian 1 corinthian 1 verse 2 debra debra are you there yes okay can you share the scripture 1 corinthian 1 corinthians 1 verse 2 One Corinthians one verse two. Okay, so see that one. I am writing to God's church in Corinth. Okay, that's what he's writing to Corinthians. To you who have been called by God to be His own holy people. He made you holy, which means He may He sanctified you in Christ Jesus. Okay, by means of Christ Jesus, just. as he did for all people everywhere listen to this who call on the name of our lord jesus christ their lord and ours so what is paul saying Th that we are writing to god's church in corinth okay so wherever there are believers that's god's church anyone the people who believe and they come together to worship that becomes a church the people are the church it's not a building okay a building is yeah we name it church but the people are the ones that make up the church so we are writing so paul is writing to the people of corinthians to corinth and he says to you who have been called by god to be his own holy people to be his sin okay so you see the word holy to be his sin he made you holy which means he sanctified you he purified you by means of Christ Jesus okay he purified you in Christ Jesus just as he did for all people everywhere so he's telling the people of Corinth Jesus has made you holy he has sanctified you and he did the same thing for all the people everywhere who call on his name okay so paul is telling us today god has called us 
to be his own holy people, his saints. And he has made us holy in Jesus Christ. Just as he did for all the people of the past, like the saints of the past, he, he made them also holy. He is when the name of the Lord has been made holy. Praise God. So all, all of you, all of us are today, in today's world. Okay. One more last picture. Can we go to that one? Colossians 3.12. Colossians chapter 3, verse 12 to 15. 12 to 15, Baba. Verse 12. Not, not one, just Colossians. Take off the one, Baba. Before Colossians, you got one, no? Take off that one, yeah. The hyphen. Okay. Deborah. Fifteen. Correct. The hyphen and put fifteen. Correct. Yeah. That's it. Uh, it won't come. That is. Uh, I have to put the whole chapter. Ah, okay. Okay, it's come. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. No, she put that one. She put that one. Yeah, it's one. come. Come. So see now how we can live, how can we live a saintly life, okay? So it says, therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Sister Moira got disconnected. Praise God. Uh, can we read this? Therefore, as God chosen people, holy sorry, and everyone. yeah, yes, mm -hmm. yes, Sister Moira. My laptop died on me. Sorry. Uh, no problem. The battery ran out. Yeah. So somebody read this, please. I can. Okay. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And all of these virtues put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you are called to peace and be thankful. Praise God. So see how uh, Jesus is telling us, you know, actually Paul is telling us in this uh, Colossians 3, 12 to 15, therefore as God's chosen people, as God's saints, okay, Holy, so the word holy in some um, most other translations have saints. And dearly loved, so we are loved by God. So he's telling us, clothe yourselves with compassion. Now listen to all these virtues, okay? And see who it reminds you of and how you can be like this person. Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Does these words ring a bell anywhere we have learned this before? These words? There's, there's any, the keep the the Very good. Yes, Deborah. Praise God. I yeah, keep the scripture on. Yes, that's from the Holy Spirit. And if you look, Jesus also had compassion, right? When he saw people who were sick, he had compassion. He, ha he was very humble because he was a king of kings. He was born in a lowly manger. 
he was gentle he was patient with those who were you know with, with us we are sinners but he was so he's still so patient with us waiting for us to change our ways come back to him and his kindness and then it says bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance that means if any if you have a some argument or something against somebody he's asking us to forgive forgive that person because god forgives us forgive as the lord forgave you and over all these virtues put on love you know i just said that earlier love is the greatest commandment put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity so all these virtues will come when you put on love and god has already poured his love into our hearts so that we can also in turn love everybody around us yes and when we do all this what happens the peace of christ rules in our hearts what oh, is as members of one body you were called to peace and be thankful so these are all the things we can do to live saintly lives as i said the word of god has everything we need to to know how to live a saintly life when we learn the scriptures when we take it up and study every day just like we are studying for our exams we take up the scriptures and study little by little every day the word of god will transform our hearts and make us more and more like jesus and we are living saintly lives okay so who is a saint we are all Yes, we are all saints, and the people who have gone before us are also saints. All those who have died, but who had believed in Jesus, they are also saints. And I today we are celebrating. Today, sorry, Debra. Do I take it off? Oh, let it be. Let it be. And so today we are remembering all the souls who have gone before us. Now remember all. we must not we don't have to despair because all those souls who believed in jesus are already saved in his loving arms they are all resting in christ and when jesus returns again the dead will rise up first to meet him in the clouds that's what the scripture tells us and then we who are still alive and believe in jesus we will also be taken up to be with them with jesus in the clouds isn't that wonderful so we don't need to despair or worry because we know and we know that our loving father is taking care of all those who have gone before us all our loved ones are looked after by him so wonderfully and he's looking after us also so wonderfully so praise god so any of you have any question or anything you want to add or share remember who you are right was this a uh, a good eye opener for you to see that you are all saints we are all saints did you know that that before children are you there praise god children have you learned something today yes okay praise god Yes, God. Yes. So are we so all? Never, saints? Yeah. Yes, God. Yes, we are all saints. Those who believe, who call on the name of the Lord Jesus, those who believe in Him and want to live a life pleasing to Him, we are all saints. And God even shows us how we can live our lives. Ah, uh, you know. in colossians 3:12 to 15 we just read he shows us and when we pick up this word of god it gives us all the things that we need to know to live a saintly life and it's so amazing the love of our jesus yes children anyone want to add anything now you should rejoice okay because you are all saints rejoice praise god for it thank you jesus sister reshma you want to add anything uh, praise god 
yes we are all saints um, uh, and you know and we are made saints you know we are made mm. saints by the you know by the precious blood of jesus because we have been sanctified justified forgiven and we have been made holy and it was it is not our work but the work of our jesus he has done for us he has given his life for each one of us so that we become holy we become saints so now our job is you know to keep us holy to maintain how we maintain some a uh, a uh, 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 thing that same way we have to maintain ourselves we have to maintain ourselves holy we have to keep our body holy so it is the word of god as teacher moira has explained the word of god you know we do not have to do anything but when we abide in the word of god the word of god will teach us you know how to maintain how to keep us in holy and to live as a, a, a you know like saints the way the saints and yesterday you know uh, a, pri a priest a parish priest was saying you know he gave the quote of saint augustine he says mm -hmm. that you know the only difference between a saint and a sinner is that every saint has a past and every sinner has a future praise god mm -hmm. Praise so god. yeah praise god every praise saint god. has a past and every sinner has a future now mm -hmm. saint yes the saint who had a past is they repented they believed in jesus and they mm -hmm. yes and they walked you know they walked the uh you know their life they spent their life you know according to the word of god they tried to live the uh, their life according to the word of god and sina the one who is like you know has not accepted jesus yet so those mm -hmm. are the like you know we say sina those who have not accepted uh, jesus those who do not believe in jesus even they have a future even they can be mm -hmm. turned from sina to a saint so mm -hmm. praise god mm -hmm. thank you jesus yes so everyone is called to be a saint not me not you everyone everyone everybody, everybody yes, everybody, yes. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Praise God. So we have to, the last scripture uh, with teacher Moira has taken, Colossians 3.12. Read that scripture. It's beautifully explained. You know, the fruits of the Holy Spirit, how we have to live our life. We have to live mm -hmm. our life with love, kindness, compassion, you know, with one another. This life, mm -hmm. we have to live with one another, sharing our love, compassion, kindness, patience, mm -hmm. gentleness, all this, you know, the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Praise mm -hmm. God. Thank you, Jesus. And it says you must clothe yourselves, you No, know, like how we take and put on our clothes every day. Yes. So it says you must clothe yourselves. So we have to put on, we have to be aware. And the only way we can be aware is when we are in the presence of God and when we are in the word, as, um, you know, our teacher Reshma said, the abiding, the word abiding in us. When the word abides in us, automatically we will clothe ourselves. We will be more aware. Clothe ourselves means being aware, being alert. How should I respond? Respond to others with love. Okay? The more and more we spend time with the word, the more and more this love will automatically fill our hearts and will come. It will transform us. None of us are perfect. All of us have failed. Even the saints of the past, as Jesus said, the saints of the past had a past in the sense that at one time, maybe they have done something wrong, they have not believed, but the moment they believed and accepted Jesus, they come to know the love of Jesus. They have changed their lives and they've put on, they've clothed themselves with this kind of behavior, tender-hearted, mercy, kindness, humility, patience, gentleness. The Holy Spirit does it for us, helps us to do it nothing we couldn't do it on our own only with the help of the holy spirit we can do it praise jesus understood children is it clear yes yes, yes. praise god okay deborah you're gonna say the thanksgiving prayer done yes okay in the name of the Father, and the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty Father, we take the time to split to pray, especially today, for all the souls and all uh, that have left this earth and gone to you. We pray for them. May they rest in peace in your life, in your hand. We also thank you for blessing us with our beautiful teachers that come every week to teach us more about your word and so we can be more like you. Um, we also thank you for blessing us with this technology we have so we can come every week to learn more about your word and to be soldiers of your kingdom and to always um, believe and be and walk in your path. We also pray for the people um, around the world who needs our help, who, who needs our praying. We pray for them. And we also pray for all the saints, Paul saints day from yesterday. May you keep them safe and continue to bless us with more saints. And also we pray for um, the people who are in war, people who are need our help right now. We pray for them. May they get their help and end the war. May this prayer in Jesus' almighty and glorious name. Amen. Amen.